So people talk about work ethic. And you know what, you could have a different idea on work ethic and this gives you an opportunity to share. Because I'm not just spouting out the way the world is, I'm spouting out things for you to think about and maybe define your work ethic. So the traditionalist was pay your dues, respect, seniority. And it was very important because think about it, they came out of the military. We begin to think about what happened with the baby boomer, what happened with traditionalists. They were coming out of World War II and the way the military worked for World War II for us was a pretty good thing. Let's take that and let's put it into business, okay? The boomers come along and they want the long hours. And you know what? The biggest thrill for a boomer, especially a boss, is to see everybody working at work. Yeah, look at everybody, give them chill bumps because they loved work, and they loved seeing you at work, and they loved coming into work on the weekends, and they loved telling you about it on Monday morning. I worked all weekend, I was here, I was here. The janitor saw me, he can tell you I was here, right? Now, you're telling that to a Gen X, and what are they thinking? Why? Like, why are you doing that, right? So we're starting to see a huge shift in work ethic, right? Gen X comes along and they want to get rid of the things that aren't necessary. I got things to do. Let me get home. Time is their currency. I got kids. I got family. If I don't have to do this at work, I'm going to go do it at midnight, my favorite time of the night or the day, because I have some quiet and I can think. So they started shifting this to let's quit talking around the water cooler and let's start getting work done so I can go live my life. They're very much about efficiency, right? And now we've got millennials. And I'm, I'm looking at this because we don't know the work ethic, but what I believe is it's what's next. Where are we going? You see, they love change. They love what's next. They are ambitious, right? And they want to give back. They want purpose in what they're doing. They don't want busy work. So you're going to have to define why we're doing this project. And as they mature and as they age and as they take on leadership and manage others, we will begin to see a formulation of their work ethic. So we look at this and we don't criticize, we don't judge, we say that's interesting. When we talk to people, we ask them, we want to hear, which I'm gonna be doing a session on listening, we wanna hear what they have to say. So we have to learn how to ask the right questions to begin to understand them. Because the biggest complaint that I get from interviewing millennials, especially those that have just gotten onboarded, and I've talked to huge companies like AT&T, Semantic, and the biggest complaint they have their first two years is, I'm being underutilized. I'm being underutilized. They don't know what I can do. Why? Because many times, no offense, baby boomers, but many times we come in and we look at them through our lens and what we can do and how we can do it. And we put our spin on it when they have a totally different operation system. Get it? So we have to get to know them. When we get the talent in, we have to spend time with the talent. We have to talk to them. We have to find out what they like to do and what they can do because many feel underutilized.